6,375 pounds, the very popular G Flight 287 BHS here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan, back for another season for good reason. It does a lot of things and it does them very, very well. Fits nicely into a half ton towable segment. And whether you're looking to upgrade uh, to something with a slide from No Slide or if you're looking to get your first camper, I think this is an awesome rig to get your family uh, started in their camping adventures. Let's take a look with our floor plan in a flash. We've got taller ceilings, big living room super slide, the heaviest bunk ratings available within this class, a very nicely sized bathroom with a direct entry bathroom door, and we've got this one outfitted with some nice features like uh, a ladder for the back and enclosed underbelly and a couple other odds and ends that we'll describe as we go through here. So if you see something you like along the way, leave us a comment. If you have a question, let us know. If you see something maybe you'd like to see different, share that feedback because you'd be surprised how much your feedback can sometimes go into the development of these RVs. This thing is loaded with best in class qualities like best in class warranty, roof construction, tires, a lot of other things. There's a lot of reasons why you could make this your first camper, your next camper, frankly, potentially, even your last to be perfectly happy with it. Really the trick I think with a J-Flight SLX is that they're like high function. They're not always the fashion brand. They're not always the flashy, jazzy thing. They kind of leave that to Big Brother full J-Flight. And SLX is what I call all thriller, no filler, smarter class camping. Every feature on this RV is something you'll use, see, feel, and appreciate today and long term. Like the taller ceiling here. And the fact that that air conditioner is uh, centralized, almost said standardized, of course it's standardized, idiot. <laughs> but um, you'd be surprised how many campers in this class and in this budget do not have central AC. J flights are using more lights, they're using tinted windows, uh, they're using things that they're, they're more expensive features. And naturally, uh, you know, that, that reflects in the price tag, but it's also, in a lot of ways, then, a superior product. Like, stuff you can't see. Like, all sorts of plywood use. Like, a radiant barrier through the slide floor. There's a lot going on here that is just more than meets the eye. And that's why we really like to get to know you here at Halet RV. Once we understand, kind of, who you are and what you're looking to accomplish, it really puts us in the best position possible to answer all of those really kind of in-depth and detailed questions for someone who's serious about doing this long term. Because with the j flight even here on an SLX, it's those devil in a detail features that separate them, like plywood boxed drawers versus uh, sticker wrap particle board, like pocket screwed cabinetry versus just staple cabinetry, which there's nothing wrong with, it's just that you're probably going to like this one a little bit better for long term peace of mind. We do have this one outfitted with the optional 12 volt uh, fridge over here. It gains about a little over, uh, close to 40% additional capacity. I have to do the hard math on that, but it's got bigger cold storage. It cools faster. The RV doesn't have to be level and it is safe to use in motion in transit. Some states allow you to use propane in transit. Some don't. Some people feel it's safe. Some do not. Well, with the 12 volt fridge, it just doesn't matter. Now over here, this is, you've got great drawer space, a six foot nine floor to ceiling pantry, but those drawers you could either use in the kitchen or in a way they could basically be dresser space uh, with space, hmm, space with the hanging storage over here because we are right next to our bunk area. We'll check out these bunks in a little bit more detail, but I like how they give you kind of the flexibility in that storage. Speaking of which, you don't have to be flexible. You know, you don't have to be doing a handstand and, and like, you know, some fancy pants yoga pose uh, to uh, get to the storage under the dinette because they give us some doors there to get to it. Similarly, this uh, sofa basically is a giant storage chest. And just like I've done there, there's no magic to it. You can just kind of wedge it in place halfway between. It'll hold itself, and there you go. Easy access. Now, you're going to, I think, probably use that for things like extra blankets or like board games for a rainy day, stuff you won't use every single day. Up top, a little bit of storage above that sofa goes a long way, and it's those little details that a lot of brands tend to miss out on. But even as we swing around forward to that uh, entertainment wall that kind of separates the living room from the bedroom, Every little nook and cranny they could, they opened up. Now, I like how they give us an easy open air shoe garage under the TV, but also the little storage chest on the timeout boot bench. That's where my wife puts me when I start free thinking again. She says that's not allowed, and I say, yes, dear. <laughs> I think... I think you folks at home, am I the only one, to, leave me, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that's had that conversation. 
Now there's positives and negatives to everything, and that's one of the things I really pride ourselves on here at Halo RV in our videos, is we'll always share the plus and the minus. Like this has completely ventless flooring, which is nice. It's easy cleaning. And in a camper in this segment, it makes a lot of sense. You got a lot of kiddos coming and going, tracking dirt throughout. It makes it easy to keep it clean. Plus that bathroom entry door keeps dirt out anyway. So they go with cabinet ducted heating. But if you notice, that means that we do lose some drawer space. That's one of the differences between an SLX and a full flight. Full flight has more drawers. They have a more powerful heating system, but they have to put heat vents in the floor to accomplish that. Some people like one, some people don't like the other. Uh, you know, they basically, you've got two different J flights to fit you either way. Now, these bunks over here, this is, there's some best in class stuff going on here that is easy, easy to miss. First of all, the fact that you have two separate curtains. Uh, that way, the kids aren't fighting the curtain space, or the kid trying to close the curtain from the bottom isn't ripping the track out of the ceiling. I've seen that happen. I've almost done it myself, guys. Um, now, the ladder over here, it's barefoot friendly. That is another one of those J-Flight differences. It's an easy thing to miss. But Jayco actually builds this in-house. It weighs a little more. It probably costs a little more for him to do it, but it's bigger, thicker planks, uh, you know, longer term, heavier duty construction. That's what we're looking at here. Similarly, you've got some best in class bunks in a couple ways. First of all, they're thicker than almost anybody else out there. Although a couple other brands are paying attention to J Flight and they have begun to bulk up here, but still, this is a class leading feature. No one is doing better than J Flight here, and J Flight's doing better than most in terms of thickness and comfort. Also, lift it up. You don't see particle board, you see plywood all the way through. It's those kind of extra details that go into Jayco. It's like a locking bathroom door because I know that there are some moms out there who, I mean, my mom, or my mom, nope, my wife, <laughs> she, man, she carries our family. She is absolutely the rock in our family household and she does more than her fair share. I say that, uh, I'm not proud to say that, but it is true. And sometimes I think she needs a minute. So if she needs to sit in a private room with the doors locked just to catch up on her Facebook. I don't, I don't, I don't fault her for that. Not, not one bit. Now, uh, we have some good leg room here. I'm a big guy. This is big guy approved. And similarly, look at the size of the shower. That is huge. That is a, uh, I mean, you and a Labrador shower. If your kid gets into God knows what kind of cat, fish slime like my brother used to. My brother wasn't allowed to bring his shoes inside because he'd go mud and dog cat fishing at night. That is great. Now also you can see that there's plenty of headroom here. Because we have that taller six foot nine ceiling, we have the ability for even a bigger person like me to stand in there. Now this simple series camper has a simple series vent fan. It's enough for this room. But if you do want a bigger fan, those are the things that we can do for you here at Halo RV. That is not a big deal. Those are everyday, simple, easy upgrades for our team. Also, decent counter space here. Gives you some places to actually put some toothbrushes, you know. Now, coming out of the bathroom here, you see that nice big super slide giving us all that rainy day space. We will actually see this RV with the slide closed if you hang with us just a little bit here. It's those extra things we like to provide for you here at Halid RV. So let's talk entertainment real quick. Again, I'm willing to share the highs and the lows of any camper. And if you appreciate that kind of transparency, Give our team here a call. Hit that subscribe button. We will always take care of you. I will shoot you straight. I'll help you find your second camper the first time, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we do at Halid RV. Uh, this is not an entertainment-focused floor plan. It just really isn't. And that's perfect for somebody like me. Like, I don't knock that on this floor plan. Sure, it, like, from the sofa, yeah, the TV cabinet's not super visible. I don't care because I'm not going camping to watch TV. I'm going camping to go out and build memories and connect with my family. Now... That is not everyone's journey. If you are more of an entertainment-focused person, give us a call. Things like a 287 BHS J-Flight, or nope, 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 28 BHS J-Flight, you will love. There's plenty of similar things out there. There's plenty of great things. They all have their little shades and variances between one another. Like a 26 D-Bud kind of bleeds the difference between this and a 28 BHS. Like, we carry so many little variances of campers here at Halo RV to help you really zero in with laser precision. Now, the thing is, if you do choose to be entertainment focused, what is kind of cool about this J Flight is they're still including a DVD function with their Bluetooth stereo, which almost nobody else is. And by the way, if you want to do some off grid camping, the camper is uh, roof solar ready. 
You see that little cigarette lighter plug, as we used to call it? That is a 12-volt power point. If you want to add a 12-volt TV or, there's these like little $40 or $60 mini inverters that you can plug into that and give you two live household outlets right there in case you want to run some fans or anything like that. Like I like to have a fan when I'm uh, sleeping. Does, does anyone else like sleeping with fans? Um, I mentioned that to my wife, and she really disapproved of me sleeping with my fans. Um... I don't know that I necessarily phrased it properly to her, though, and I think she may have taken it uh, a little different way, but uh, I digress. Let's let's have it up to the bedroom, past the uh, Drunken Octopus Triple Coat Hanger Fight Club right there, because that's exactly what those things look like. They look like they want to fight you. A sliding pocket privacy door, not a curtain. Nice detail features like that. This is a Camp Queen. The SLX series are Camp Queens. The full J flights are True Queens. That will be one of the differences between them, of which there are plenty. Oops, sorry, I'm, I'm hit, running into stuff over here, so pardon the camera. Work. But there are plenty of differences between them. Uh, you see that TV bracket over there? We'll see that again outside, so just kind of log that in your mind. Black sticker over there is where you would mount a charge controller if you are so inclined. And uh, above here, we've got that little accent light. You can turn that off individually. If that's really not your jam, no worry. No need to be jelly. <laughs> uh, the wide open side stands are awesome, though. If you are like a CPAP user or you just need a place to plug in a, a phone or whatever, you've got some nice big spaces. And I know some people are like a little bit of claustrophobic. Um, and they don't want to sleep with like a cabinet directly next to their face. So this will let you breathe a little bit easier. A couple other little interesting details here. Um... That cabinet over there is a hanging closet. This one is a dresser. And they kind of split the difference there because storage is so limited up here, they wanted to give you a little bit of both. One of the other neat things is they're using the same window treatments here that we saw in the living room. You see that nice dark blackout shade. Notice too that the windows are fully framed out and that really gives those pleated shades something nice to bite into down there. And if you're noticing, you can still see the center beam. You get some great cross breeze ventilation through this bedroom. One of the other great qualities on this layout is that it is always going to be basically fully accessible with the slide closed like we're looking at right now. You can go right past the kitchen. Really, it's got the flow uh, very similar to something of like a motorized RV, which is going to be very travel accessible. So whether it's in storage, whether you need to park, uh, you know, whether it's just beside the garage and you can't open the slide where it's parked beside the garage, you can always get in this thing. You can access about 99.9% .9 of everything. She is turtle friendly. Under bed storage like this is one of those things J-Flight does really well. You can see it's just expansive and huge in here. It actually goes under the bed. Now, if you wanted to, you could partition that off. There's a couple different ways you could do that. And give me a comment, guys. Leave me some feedback. What do you think about an open underbed storage like this from the pass-through? Or do you like it better when it's sectionalized? I'd like some of that feedback to maybe run back to Jayco if you don't mind. But you notice how they're giving us big baggage doors on both sides of the pass-through. Also, the little Jayco doing Jayco things details, where there would be exposed wood around the baggage door opening, you see how they've got that trimmed out right here. They don't leave that open and raw and exposed. That's a nice long-term longevity thing for you. We've optioned on the more ride stable steps to this one right here. That is the new easy adjust variety, and that goes hand in hand with that uh, larger folding handle right there. They put a good size power awning on this one too. And one of the things I like, like I know some people, I, I guess, leave me another comment. Tell me which way is the better way to go here. If you notice the power awning, it nicely covers the main entry door. Now it doesn't cover the rear door, but if it did, then the front power awning arm would be right next to the door and you'd stand a chance of potentially damaging your awning arm by smacking it with the door. Also, when you have an awning arm near a door, you run the risk of some rain spritzing into the door when it's opened. So I like what they did here because they've paid the most attention to what I think is the main entry door, but that's just my opinion. What do you guys think of that? Do you like how they did the awning or would you like it moved? Uh, up front here, thankfully now we have a standard power tongue jack. That is something these SLX J flights did not used to have. Now. We could throw one on here at Halo RV, no problem. It wouldn't affect your warranty. Swapping out a power tongue jack is not something that's gonna screw up your warranty. Uh, but it is nice that it's just done from the factory now. And the little Jayco touches, like if you look at the uh, tongue jack up front, 
You see how it has that little foot pad for stability? Helps keep it from sinking into loose dirt at a campsite you're not familiar with. That being said, here's a little pro tip from your Uncle Josh. Always bring like a little block or a board or something to put under that tongue jack to disperse that weight exactly like we've done right here. It'll keep it from sinking down. If you appreciate little tips like that, hit that subscribe button, follow along, because there's a lot more to come. So we've got those nicely tinted windows right there. That is something you only find about 50% of the time in this class. They're keeping the sunshine out. They're keeping the nosy neighbors out. They keep the uh, heat down and they also uh, help prevent furniture fade while your RV's like in storage long term. And down below, you see an enclosed underbelly. That is an optional thing that we've done here. And we do it pretty much on all the SLXs at uh, Haywood RV. But keep in mind, when you're comparing, looking, shopping around, uh, what looks like the same trailer at different dealerships, watch those kind of details because we've got a few hundred dollars worth of options on this one, but I feel we've got this one built the way you would actually want to camp with it. You can find it a dollar cheaper somewhere, I'm sure, but what are you giving up to get there? That's the question. And man, it ain't snowing right now, but you folks don't realize it's, it's about 30 degrees at the time of this filming. This is not the most comfortable experience out here, and I hope you appreciate the uh, dedication that we have. Always trying to do the best we can and not shortcutting something just because the weather's a little inclement. Just kind of goes along with the territory of living in Michigan and selling campers, you know. Um, I love the storage under this rear bunk. I love that they didn't just waste that space. If you need to, you can get to it from the inside as well. But obviously, a nice place out here. I tell you what I do is I would have like a, uh, a flat, long tote I would put in there, and I would use that for all my sewer stuff over here by the Stinky Slinky Station. To me, that makes the most sense right there. Now, as we back up, you see another optional piece of equipment we've added to this one, and that is the rear ladder to access the roof. And we'll actually take a peek up there because the roof also has a couple neat little surprises for us. And while we're here, I also want to talk about the J Smart lighting package. So basically, you see those extra clearance lights at the top of the camper? Those will blink with your turn signals, so not just the taillights blink, and all of the lights down the side of the trailer also blink along with your turn signals. Literally, no other trailer in this class does that. Additionally, these have reverse lighting elements in the taillights. And we have a separate video specifically on J-Smart lighting. Uh, I will leave a link to that. So if you're curious, uh, uh, you know, you, you'll be able to check that out. And if I forget to leave a link, please tell me so that I can get that caught up for you. A full outside shower, hot and cold water, is another thing that you almost never find in this class. To get that, you usually have to go up to the level of a full J flight or like a full Catalina Legacy. And in some things like a Wildwood, it's still optional. And you're finding it standard here. Like a spare tire, that is standard here. Jayco's very safety minded. That's one of the things I like about him. I passed over it. I don't want to forget to mention it does have a black flush back there. But let's talk tires real quick. Because not only are you getting a standard spare, not only are you getting the nice J-Smart lighting, you're also getting the best in class Goodyear Endurance Radials. These are rated for 87 miles per hour. You don't ever need to be driving that fast, folks. But the fact is, these tires are rated for like overuse like that and that is like Jayco to a T you could argue overbuilt or built for overuse and some people argue well there is no such thing and if you're one of those folks then I think really Jayco fits you very nicely so we kind of talked about it from inside but direct entry bathroom door and that might freak some people out but remember you do have a deadbolt right here except my, I can't twist it with my gloves okay well come on gloves <laughs> I feel like I'm, I mean, can you hear the car carnival circus music as I monkey with this with my gloves right now? You get the idea. You can sit on the stool, lock that just in, in a sense, kind of like you'd lock the stall in the public bathroom so that you don't become on public display because that is a show that I know I don't want to see. <laughs> Um, and we saw this bracket inside. I'm glad I remembered to bring it out because usually I don't. If you are interested, the bracket here uh, or from the bedroom can be brought outside should you choose to add a TV to it. So as we're looking over here, right there we see a big Eagle travel trailer. Here we see a Freedom Express travel trailer. And now we're on top of the J-Flight. And they all pretty much look the same on the roof. The thing is, it's what's under the skin that makes the difference. And in the case of a Jayco, it is their Magnum Truss roof system giving them 50% more load capacity on the roof than anybody else. There's, there's no one else that's doing what they're doing up here. And uh, that 
it basically translates into a lot heavier snow load rating. That being said, we do not sell a towable RV at Halet RV that does not have a walkable roof or slides, frankly. All these things are, you can stomp all over them if you want to. I do recommend trading a little more carefully than stomping, obviously. But the thing is, how long do you want to keep the camper? Are you looking to keep it really long term? Are you not sure? Do you want to be able to have that option? Jayco is a brand that seems to hold up a little bit better longer term. I'm not really unhappy with any brand that we have here at Halet RV, but when you look at the used Jaycos that come in, they're like a tank. They weigh a couple pounds more. They're a couple dollars more, but because they're built a little bit heavier. Now, quick little note. This is where you'd find your roof solar prep now standard, even here on the SLX series. So that if you do want to be an off-grid warrior, you've got room galore to do all that. Another construction thing here is above the slide out, and I'm not going to reach much farther than that because I don't want to get dangerous and stupid, but they have a thicker header beam that runs uh, above the slide right here and it extends further past the slide than anybody else. The idea there being uh, the structural loss that comes with punching a hole in the side of the RV to install a slide into it. Because look at that. Basically, there's a hole in the wall right there. Well, it takes some extra engineering to make sure you don't lose structure. And Jayco adds more weight, more cost, but more structure there than anybody else in this class. And it's those kind of differences that give me personally the confidence to Jayco camp. Because when I camp, you know what I'm in, guys? I'm in a J Flight SLX, just like this thing that we're standing on. I tend to camp in a 264 no slide. I'd love to have the super slide of this thing. I'm jealous of anybody that takes us home. So thank you for joining us today. Really appreciate it. Again, you have any questions, comments, concerns, something you'd like to see different, leave us a little comment, let us know that kind of stuff. Short of that, remember, we're family owned and operated. We'd love the chance to work with you. We're a big dealership in a small town, and folks, it doesn't matter if you live near or far. We make deals happen. I don't care if you live on the California coast looking at the Pacific Ocean. You give us a call, give us a fair shake, you'd be surprised what we can work out here from Halet RV. So short of that, as always, appreciate the viewership very much. Keep those comments and suggestions coming. And as always, remember, we don't do hidden fees at Halet RV, but we do just about everything else. So whether you need hitching, pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, or anything in between. We'll get you there. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halo camping, everyone.